Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Underwater Base in Scrap Mechanic. Today we actually have a huge update to the base. I've gone back to the main base and done some stuff that you guys said that I needed to do before we really tackle the uh, military side of the base. So today is all about the main base. We've got a new aquarium, we've got a mess hall, the washroom area that I was talking about, we have a farm. So there's a lot of stuff to show you guys here today. Now one thing I do want to touch on before we jump into this episode, I will be starting to look for a new theme to do in Scrap Mechanic, and I'm also going to jump back and finish up a couple projects that I uh, didn't finish before my break, like the NASCAR track and the Monster Jam Arena. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And remember folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, maybe leave this video a thumbs up, helps out my channel, and let's jump right into this. Alright, as always, we are starting here at the top side of the base. Uh, if you have missed any of these episodes, I will have a playlist with everything in it, so if you see something you want to check out, just search for that in the playlist. So, let's go ahead and go down and check this out. You can see the base has gotten a lot longer, and on the left side, it's gotten a lot wider here. So, over to the left, we've got a new farm area, there is a, like, washroom area, we've got a new kitchen, and towards the back, we have a huge aquarium. And if you missed yesterday's, or actually it was a couple days ago, no, it was yesterday. I'm confused by my order of videos. Uh, we had some AI fish, and I really wanted to utilize those in the base. So we actually have these in an aquarium, and they actually work really well. I was a little afraid they were just going to kind of bounce around and not work, but we'll check those out first, and then we'll move over to the living quarters, which I've basically finished up here. Alright, here we are at the bottom. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess we should go ahead and activate this. Try to keep it as realistic as possible even though this is scrap mechanic and it's not real water. But still, I like to play like that. So, there we go, that's closed. Alright, here we go. So now Sector B is going to be where a lot of the new items are, but we're going to check those out last. Uh, we'll do those in a group. We're really actually going to head down to the aquarium and show you this new area. So if you're going to download the base, the aquarium is down this long hall. Uh, we stopped, I think, right around here at the lab. And this is where, actually no, it was right over the train station here is where the base stopped. So everything you see from here on is actually a new addition to the base. So yeah, there's the train station. The train is actually over in the other side of the base uh, where the military section is. Uh, we started that, the actual last main base episode. But I figured let's come back here and work on this. So this is the aquarium. Now this isn't a normal aquarium. This isn't like, hey, let's go just visit this and stare at fishes. This is more like a research type aquarium. Now I don't have any of the fish that were in the intro. They're not in the tank right now because I want to show you guys how you have to set those up. But yeah, this is the main tank of the aquarium. Everything you see on the outside as far as the windows, that actually is the ocean floor. Uh, we will be adding more tanks. And I wanted to get your guys' uh, suggestions for that because I do have an AI shark, an AI narwhal, and I think I'm saying that right, and some AI fish. Now the AI fish work best in this tank here. This is actually completely enclosed. Uh, there's a roof on it, of course you see the glass here, and there's a bottom on it. So whenever you release a fish in here or whatever you want to release, it will not leave this tank. Now that works really good with the AI fish because of course they have sensors all over them so they'll kind of circle around. Uh, they will occasionally get stuck by the walls or stuck against them but if you give them a little bit they should turn away eventually and move away from that. So let's go ahead and turn on the lights in here give this uh, area a little bit of a glow. Now as far as the research area we're gonna build a lab and like I said we're gonna build more tanks. I'm just not really sure where to stick them because I'm in love with the layout here as far as this being the main tank. But of course, we need to figure out uh, some secondary tanks, which I think are gonna have to be a little bit bigger, especially if you stick like the shark in there. So yeah, uh, over here, this is the control panel. This turns on the lights uh, for the aquarium, and you see a little metal door over there. That's how to get in and out of the, uh, the bottom here. So say if we're gonna put a new fish in, or if we're gonna capture one and stick it in here and monitor it, uh, you can activate the switch up here, and you can see it opens the door. So yes, this is a two-story aquarium. We're actually on the top story of it right now. Uh, it does sink down. Uh, we'll go down here in a second. Let me go ahead and just walk around. Uh, this is also a bit of an observation point. Uh, you guys wanted to see something like that in the base. So this side of it pokes out. 
Uh, you can actually see the uh, military area right over there. Now I need to stick something in between it. I think we're going to build a cave uh, very soon. Hopefully something we can kind of go around in, in a rover or something. So I need to build something like that uh, very soon. But yeah, let's walk under here real quick. This is the uh, the lower floor of the aquarium. There's still all of the uh, windows around here. A lot of people, uh, or at least some people, don't like the whole fact that I have so many windows. But to me, that's one of the coolest parts about the underwater base is being able to see out into the ocean and all that. Now, I understand the, uh, the military section doesn't need to have a bunch of windows. It needs to be armored up, but we will get to that very soon. But yeah, you can get another view of the tank. You can kind of see it a little bit closer. I'm using invisible glass there at the bottom to close in the walls. Uh, you can see all the rocks and vegetation that I placed down there. And I try to make it look somewhat natural. But yeah, to get out here, uh, we're going to go over here. This is a new airlock to get outside. So we'll walk down here. We're going to hit this switch right here. And we'll walk in. We'll go ahead and close our airlock. Let's go ahead and activate it here. Everything's going off. Uh-oh, those lights didn't turn on. Huh. Oh, it's because they're switched. I don't know why I connected it to that. Okay, let's go ahead and disconnect those. There we go. So we're going to reactivate the airlock here. And it's going to drain or fill up with water. Now, there is a neat trick with the water block in order to uh, get it to go up and down, like on a piston, and it'll look like it's draining. Uh, one of the airlocks we checked out a couple episodes ago actually did that. We might need to stick that over here. So anyways, we're ready to go outside. We are out here in the water. Let's go ahead and shut that. And here we are. Uh, you can get an outside view of the aquarium here. Now, I'm trying to stick as much vegetation around this area as possible. I know it looks a little bare out here, but we will be filling this up quite nicely. So yeah, uh, we can go ahead. We're going to walk into here. We're going to release a couple AI fish inside of the tank. And then I'm going to show you guys, I was sent an actual small aquarium uh, that I do want to use uh, from the Discord. And I'll show you guys that here in a second too. So anyways... Let's go and hit the switch here, release that, and we're ready to release some fish in here. Alright, so this was the queen parrot fish that we checked out in our last viewer creations episode. It's by CJCKCT23. Now, this one works pretty good in here, and I tell you what, let's go ahead and release it. This is the default thruster positions and speed. Uh, let's go ahead and release it in here. Now, you see, he's a little fast. He typically gets caught in corners at this speed and he gets a little confused now this does look very neat from the inside of the building we'll check that out here in a second but I just noticed uh, that the fish was a bit fast and that we needed to adjust on it there he goes he kind of oh he boops into the window he boops into that window it's like he's going crazy it's like there's something in the water so what I was doing with these fish I was actually slowing them down a bit so I was going to uh, I'm gonna adjust these thrusters down I'll leave the bottom ones pretty high he needs to turn fairly fast but I notice he moves a bit too fast. So if we stick him down to one here on each side, he should glide around a little bit more natural. Now, it's not perfect. Uh, not to say that the fish isn't perfect. It's just the size of the tank. It might need to be a little bit bigger for this size fish. But when he moves a bit slower, he seems to not get as confused. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick a couple more in here. Uh, let's go one here and release him and let's go one here even if they kind of pin against the window a lot of times in aquariums it looks like the fish are trying to get out anyways uh so they're all kind of against the windows but they do move like see they're kind of moving here they're up against each other that one just ran into the corner but this looks really cool let's go ahead and go back to the inside real quick and let's go ahead and lock that that way they can't get out uh there we go and uh, you know what somebody's gonna complain if i don't close these doors behind each other so yeah, there they are. They're all oh, they're all booped up against the the glass. I might put a slanted glass block there because I think it's the point or the uh, little edges that get them caught sometimes. But still, nonetheless, even if they're up against the window, it looks very neat. So I'm thinking for the AI narwhal and shark, we would need a big aquarium set. Uh, maybe here in the front or on the sides. Maybe we'll have just another hallway that goes out to those. But we can do some research on those. Uh, let's go ahead and go back up to the top tier real quick and just look down on them real quick. Uh, you can see, let's walk up here. Yeah, it looks neat. Uh, it's better when they're moving around. They've all kind of pinned themselves up against the wall. But uh, we might even try to make a smaller AI fish. But these are, right now, they're the smallest ones that we have. So if you have any AI fish you'd like to send over to the channel, I would definitely be accepting those. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab those out. 
Uh, it's just kind of a concept right now. I would like to experiment more with these, and I'm going to play around with the thrusters uh, and see if I can get that perfect balance to kind of keep them circling around. You know, let's put you down here. We're going to leave one out right now. We'll go ahead and leave this one out. I would stick the shark in here, but I know he's going to immediately just boop into the corner. So, okay, so if you're wondering what this is out here, this was going to be some sort of shark capture tank, almost like a big cage. Uh, that we can lead the shark in and capture him and then move him over to an aquarium. I'm still working on this. Uh, after seeing the fish kind of react to that small area, I think this might be a bit small for the bigger shark, uh, but we'll see there. Now, what kind of inspired me to do the aquarium? I was sent a little, it almost looks like a holding tank. It's called aqua Aquarium by uh, Luke Babs. Uh, it's for the underwater base. Check this thing out. This is pretty cool, and I do want to use this in the base. I think we might have like a separate, almost like workshop area, uh, maybe for like, I guess we can call it like a medic bay for the fish, and we might stick this in here. This looks really awesome, so I thought we would show this off real quick. It's a bit laggy because it's sitting directly on the ground, but yeah, you can see he's got these little fish in here, and they actually look really good. He's using the pipe piece, uh, the screws on the side. It looks like some big googly-eyed fish. Uh, you've got a looks like a squid in here some bones. I don't know how the car got down here uh, We're not going to talk about that, but yeah uh, a lot of detail you can hit the switch over here I think this makes maybe the squid move around a bit. Uh, let's see. Oh Oh, there's a lift on the side of this. Okay, so we can get to the top of the tank So yeah, we might have to do like a tank farm out here, too uh, for the fish I know we're kind of going all over the place as far as what the base is really for but I think it's a multi-purpose base, and oh yeah, you can see down in there. I don't want to fall in the cracks. Is that, is there a block there? Oh, there isn't. Okay, yeah, you definitely fall in that. So, yeah, you can see how the fish are going around the car. It looks really cool. So, just wanted to show that, uh, because we will incorporate that in this aquarium section. So, yeah, uh, we're ready to move on to the next section of the base. We're going to go to the living section where we have the farm, the new big washroom and lockers, and the mess hall. So let's go over there. Let's go ahead and open. Uh oh, I left the, the doors open in the base. Oh, we probably just flooded it and made everybody mad. So anyways, let's go ahead and go to the next section. Okay, so we're going away from the aquarium here. Now, if you're wondering why some of these lights are not illuminated anymore, I've got them all on switches now, and that's because Scrap Mechanic has a light limit as to as far as to how many dynamic lights you can have on at once. So if you turn some off, uh, you can turn some on on like another side of a base that way you still get that effect So if you're in this base anytime you want to turn some of these lights on uh, just look on some of the pillars You will see uh, some of the light switches. I think there's one around the corner here somewhere But anyways, we're here in section is this B? I want to get that right. Yeah, this is section B or sector B uh, This is the living section. This is where everybody's gonna be to do their day-to-day -day life stuff and of course all the work in the base is you can go to the train station to go across the base or you can work the aquarium or we get the warehouses so yeah the living quarters we've showed that off uh, i still need to make one for me which i think i might make me a little house or maybe an underwater mansion that would be kind of cool so there's the life pod of course now the new section we stopped about right here and i had a crash on the map a couple episodes ago because i actually built a hull and I was going to show it to you guys, but the map crashed. I had to go back to an older version of it. And yeah, I lost the progress. So we do have a new hall here. There's the farm over to the left. And we have a new locker area over there that we're going to check out. So let's go ahead and go in the hall here. This is really basic. This is just a kitchen. A kitchen and dining room area. So we'll pop into here. Let's go ahead and flick on the lights. Actually, they were already on. But the lights up here at the top. So yeah, this is a basic kitchen. I don't know if the uh, base has a dedicated chef. Uh, he can come in here if they do cook. If not, somebody can just go in here and maybe cook a meal for everybody. We can go have a nice dinner all together. My butt really doesn't fit in this seat, but it's okay. I love these seats, by the way. This is a, a mod part, and this really helps with a lot of the stuff that gets kind of boring in Scrap Mechanic when you're building small pieces of furniture that you've built a hundred times before. So yeah. That looks good here. So you've got a little dining section. Then come in here. Just take a load off. Get a nice view. You can see there's the aquarium over there. you got the train runs right in front of this. So they'll have a view of that. Uh, I really like this. It just feels really cozy. Uh, you've got kind of a, a skewed up roof. 
I don't like to make these underwater sections just cubes because it's really boring. So I like to kind of add a little bit to it so you can see how it's curved up here. You got pillars on all sides. So overall, I'm really happy with the way that came out. Looks good. Plus, it's making the base more functional. That was one thing people complained about is, okay, well, you've got living quarters, but you don't have anywhere to go to the bathroom or anywhere to eat. So we fixed that. We've also fixed the bathroom part. We're going to go to that. We'll go to the farm last. So, yes, we finally have a locker room and bathroom. And once again, like I said, not a big boring cube. Got some curved uh, fronts here. This thing splits off. We've got shower rooms and restrooms in the back. And we've got lockers uh, left and right, so we can pop this open here. Uh, I know it's not the most private of areas. I mean, it kind of is. It's got the dividing wall. And these glass, or all this glass, is kind of hard to see through, so I didn't want to just get rid of it and cover it off. Because I do like to look outside a lot, just to see what everything looks like together. So, this is the, uh, the dude's locker room, or the guy's locker room. Go ahead and close that. Uh, I've got a light switch. Here we go. Kind of light this whole area up. That actually looks quite nice. Uh, you got the uh, ladies' locker room over here. And come inside. Same with the bathrooms. They're split up left, right. Uh, this is more like a public locker room and bathroom type situation. Pretty sure if you're living down here with a bunch of other people, you're all pretty comfortable around each other. So we've got a uh, little toilet area and shower area in here. It's got a little light too. Light that up. Pretty basic. It's the same thing on the other side. It's just something that I'll probably never visit ever again, but I wanted it to be in the base and you guys wanted to see it in the base. So for realism's sake, there is the wash area and we're ready to move on to the next area. I told you guys we were building a lot here today. I, I spent probably maybe six, seven, eight hours on this. I needed to get it all done in one day, but really happy with the way this came out. So, a lot of you people were requesting some sort of greenhouse farm area, and I figured that's actually a good idea, even though they would probably have most of their food shipped in. But if we want some fresh produce, maybe they're doing some experiments on plants down here, seeing how if we can grow them down here and it's, uh, I don't know, see if it actually works. Uh, you can come up with the backstory on why, they're, why we have a farm down here. But anyways, you're going to walk down these steps here. And we're going to open up the airlock. Actually, this is not really an airlock. It's just really a door. So we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and close that behind us here. And here is the greenhouse slash farm area. I'm really, really happy with this. I was going to make it probably twice as big, but I figured, you know what? It's going to all look the same. It's going to have a bunch of plants in it. So it's probably not necessary to make it huge. Now, if you want to look around, let's go ahead... Let's just turn everything on real quick. We've got a bunch of lights here. Now, the, or at least the idea that I have in my head is that these lamps and the way everything heats up and lights up, that's what's helping the plants grow. Uh, of course, you get a little bit of natural sunlight that beams down from the top of the ocean or from the sun, kind of goes through the water, but I don't know if that would be necessarily enough to grow plants. So we have natural, uh, we'll call these natural lamps up here. And we've got areas where that would spray down water on the plants. Uh, we do have dirt here in the bottom, so we have some nice soil. Uh, you can see the bushes, all different types of plants that we're growing here. Uh, all maybe produce, maybe they're just growing normal plants. Pretty sure a couple people could work down here and kind of stay busy all day. I don't know, I'm not a big gardener, so I don't know what all goes into it. To me, I'm just like, hey, let's just water it and leave. But uh, yeah, a couple people, if you're role-playing, you can come down here and work. You've got some tables set up. Uh, you've got some uh, places to wash your hands and do all that good stuff. Uh, some produce boxes that are ready to be shipped over to the, uh, the mess hall. Over here, I kind of left an area open if you wanted to go in and plant something. Uh, we've got a water system here in the back. That's all the tanks and probably a filtration system. I need to build like a dedicated water plant. We kind of have a small one on the outside uh, by the warehouses. But I think we need a dedicated one in here. That way we would have, uh, we would have like maybe pipes or something. Something that is running across the whole thing. And maybe there will be like a big room for it. So anyways, you've got that uh, over here. More plants. And back here. This is kind of an experimental plant. I love the way this looks. Uh, this is in the default game now. They're kind of hard to find on the terrain maps. But to me, it's kind of got some backstory here. Maybe this is kind of what we're protecting here underwater. Uh, but yeah, you've seen a couple of these in the uh, the lab, and we've got some locked up here, so I don't know what it is about those. 
but we'll have to keep an eye on those. So yeah, you've got a little computer system over here. This is kind of monitoring maybe the temperatures, uh, maybe controlling everything else in here. So got a little lab set up. So this might even be a little bit more for a scientist down here, at least to monitor these plants over here. But yeah, uh, really, really happy with the way this area came out. It's kind of a, I wouldn't say it's domed. It's just slanted on each side and it's got flat ends on it. But really nice looking. Uh, you can look straight up. You got a view of the surface of the base. And you still have a view, ah, you really can't see, the military base is actually really far away. You can kind of see that, see the aquarium and all that over there. But anyways, folks, that's going to probably about wrap it up for today's episode. We got a lot done today. I'm really glad to knock out some of the smaller stuff, along with having the big aquarium. It just feels good that we're getting a base that now feels like it can kind of sustain itself. Uh, if you guys have any more suggestions for living quarters or stuff that maybe the base needs or even stuff that might be fun for some of the, uh, the people here in the base, uh, definitely comment below. You can see the construction zone sign here. We're going to expand out uh, to the left and we'll eventually get around. We'll do some more aquarium stuff. I do want to jump back into the military section of the base, but I, I had to stop myself and say, you know what? We really need to do or at least try to finish this main base part up first before we really jump into that side because I'm, I don't want to stretch things out too far. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Underwater Base. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Remember to comment below. We are looking at doing a new theme uh, pretty soon and I'm looking at uh, tying up some old stuff that I was doing. So if you want to see the NASCAR track, let me know or the uh, Monster Jam Arena. I do want to finish those up too. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day today, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic Underwater Base. Thank you.